According to journalist Simon Collings, Arsenal has verbally agreed to pay £36 million plus £4 million in add-ons for the transfer of Uri and Timber from Ajax and they are closing in on a deal. As widely reported, the Gunners have finally reached an agreement to sign West Ham United star Declan Rice this summer, coming after fears of a Man City hijack. The 24-year-old was the subject of two rejected offers from Arsenal and City briefly entered the race after that. However, after a third offer of £100 million plus £5 million in add-ons, the treble winners withdrew and Mikel Arteta is now in the process of signing Rice. Following their £65 million acquisition of German international Kai Havertz from Chelsea, the North Londoners are determined to mount another strong title campaign after narrowly missing out the previous year. In terms of other incomings, there have been reports of a pursuit for Southampton style at Romeo Lavia on top of Rice as Arsenal seemingly look to orchestrate a midfield overhaul. Defence is also of importance and Arteta's side have been heavily linked with a move for Timber of Ajax. The 22-year-old has been at the centre of Arsenal transfer talks this last fortnight, with reporter Collings of the Evening Standard sharing an exciting update. His sources indicate that Arsenal have verbally agreed to pay £36 million plus £4 million in add-ons for Timber and are closing in on the deal. The defender is reportedly enthusiastic about the potential of signing, so talks are reportedly advanced and a fee is about to be settled. Ajax and Arsenal are reportedly eager to close a deal quickly, and Timber has reportedly pushed to join. The Dutchman is admired for his passing range, outstanding authority and versatility, and can play as an inverted fullback comparable to Alexander Zinchenko. Timber played more minutes than any of his teammates during the 2022-2023 season while making 34 league starts for Ajax. Interestingly, the young fullback also boasts a higher pass accuracy than any other Ajax regular, indicating he could be a surefire option for Arteta's fluid system at Arsenal. Last year, members of the media, like journalist Antonio Mango hailed Timber as a generational superstar and Ajax's most reliable player that season. It is believed that Timber will be on a salary of around £120,000 per week, meaning the defender will earn the same salary as fellow right-back Ben White, and both players could end up featuring together, with both capable of filling in at centre-back. It remains to be seen whether Timber is thrown into the lineup straight away ahead of Ben White, or if the Englishman will keep his place after a stellar season on the right. Timber's ability on the ball, which sees him ranked in the top 1% of his centre-back peers for passing and ball carries, makes him an attractive option to Arteta, who may see him as capable of replicating Alexander Zinchenko's hybrid defence midfield role on the right-hand side. Arsenal were fantastic for most of last season, leading the league for a long time, but injuries to William Saliba and Takahiro Tomiyasu saw their title challenge fall apart, and the presence of Timber in the squad could be a difference maker as the Gunners returned to the Champions League for the first time since 2017.